when these guys are just going at it, man. Take down attempt by Juarez, stuffed. Delgado takes a right to the body and gets out of there. 345 left, round two. But both of these guys are throwing. And how long can this last? Ooh, Juarez takes a left, he goes down, and he's covering up, and that's it. The ref stops it just like that, it's over. Just like that, it's over. Back-to-back -back finishes, and in both fights, undefeated fighters have fallen. Unbelievable, and that's why these fights are so tough to predict. I mean, we're 2-0 and on the night, thankfully, but they're very tough to predict because you got guys fighting out of different, different regional promotions, different... Uh, competition level you just don't know what to expect and a guy like Ernie Juarez comes in undefeated and he just gets well not really dominated he came back toward the end I guess 49 36 and significant strikes for Delgado 33 to 17 and head strikes and he had three takedowns on five attempts so yeah it's pretty much domination okay and you see here yeah it was the knee yeah, the knee against the fence, and then he goes down, and then you get a couple hammers, and it's over. Boom, landed it perfectly. Forget about it, and it was over right there. I mean, you got a couple more in before the ref realized that it's pretty much over, and Jose Delgado is going to get a USC contract at 8-1. and one. Why? Because the featherweight division needs some more beef. They need more bodies. They need more contenders, and... Oh, look at the family. Look at that. Wow. You got like 50 people at the watch party at his house going crazy. And, you know, you it's like getting into the NFL or the NBA or something like that. That's what Jose Delgado just did. He's going to be in the UFC at 8-1, and one, featherweight division. UFC, or excuse me, Dana White's contender series.